This video is my latest fruit of research in AOH 1996 cancer drug currently under phase 1 trial. In a groundbreaking leap forward in cancer research, scientists have developed AOH 1996, a novel compound that offers a beacon of hope for effective and less toxic cancer treatments. Leveraging the power of artificial intelligence, researchers sifted through millions of potential targets to uncover PCNA, proliferating cell nuclear antigen, as a crucial vulnerability in cancer cells. This AI-driven discovery has propelled AOH 1996 into Phase 1 clinical trials, demonstrating the potential to revolutionize cancer therapy by selectively targeting and killing cancer cells while sparing healthy tissue. As we continue to explore and develop this promising treatment, your support is invaluable. By subscribing and liking, you help us advance our research into the AH 1996 trial phases, moving us closer to a future where cancer can be treated more effectively and safely. Join us in this exciting journey towards groundbreaking discoveries in cancer treatment. With that said, let's dive deep into the science and I will try to make sense using non sciencey sounding terms as much as possible. Proliferating cell nuclear antigen, PCNA, plays a critical role in DNA replication and repair in eukaryotic cells, the complex cells that contain a nucleus and various organelles enclosed within membranes. These cells make up a wide variety of organisms, including animals, plants, fungi and protists. Unlike prokaryotic cells, which lack a defined nucleus, Eukaryotic cells house their DNA within a nuclear envelope. This compartmentalization allows for more intricate processes and regulation of cellular functions, supporting the diverse life forms and biological capabilities seen in eukaryotes. Eukaryotic cells also feature mitochondria, powerhouses of the cell, endoplasmic reticulum, meaning the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is a vital cellular organelle in eukaryotic cells consisting of a network of membranous tubules and sacs. It plays a crucial role in the synthesis, folding, modification and transport of proteins and lipids. The ER is categorized into two types, the rough ER, which is studded with ribosomes and involved in protein synthesis, and the smooth ER, which is involved in lipid synthesis, detoxification processes and calcium ion storage. This organelle is essential for the proper functioning and maintenance of cellular health. A Golgi apparatus and in plant cells chloroplasts for photosynthesis by acting as a sliding clamp for DNA polymerase D, ensuring its processivity. As a homotrimer, PCNA encircles DNA, serving as a platform for recruiting essential proteins for DNA replication, repair and chromatin remodeling. It interacts with proteins through specific motifs with pit box interactions focusing on replication and APIM on genotoxic stress responses. PCNA's ubiquitination is key in DNA damage repair, signaling through RAD6 dependent pathways. Found across eukaryotes and archaea, PCNA's expression is tightly regulated during the DNA synthesis phase of the cell cycle and is essential for both DNA synthesis and repair, particularly through mechanisms like translesion synthesis and potentially through template switching in post-replication repair, influenced by its post-translational modifications. In our journey towards redefining cancer treatment, the advent of AOH 1996 ignites a new beacon of hope. This innovative approach, potentially minimizing the reliance on traditional chemotherapy, presents a simpler yet profoundly impactful method of shrinking tumors. By introducing the possibility of taking just a few magic pills daily either as a standalone regimen or complementing existing therapies under medical supervision, we stand on the cusp of a transformative era in oncology. It's a testament to the power of ingenuity and science, offering a glimpse into a future where cancer treatment is not only more effective but also significantly less burdensome for patients worldwide.